Hey guys, this is Primeval, and we're going to take our first look at Beyond Earth here. So, for today's stream, we're going to... I haven't played any of the pre-release or press or, you know, any builds before today. This is the release build. For today, we are true Poly Australians, and as such, we'll be playing Poly Australia. Uh, we don't want to play now, we're going to set up a game. And we're going to be playing on the hardest difficulty mode available. Impossibly hard, the AI receives significant advantages to improve their play. Um, now, I haven't played any of the game before. I have watched parts of some LPs, um, mostly Mad Jin. I've maybe watched, I don't know, an hour of his stuff. But uh, since he's had so much experience with prior pre-release builds, uh, it was a little hard to follow what was going on. He was already familiar with all the text, and so it was hard to follow the rationale of what he was choosing. And so we're going to take the opposite approach, since I have no idea what most of the texts are. We're probably going to do a lot of reading and a lot of thinking. Uh, but I have skimmed most of the um, information that was gathered by the one guy over at Well of Souls. And so he has a fairly comprehensive list of all the spoiler and mechanics information about Beyond Earth. So I do have some idea of what all the systems are, I just don't know any of the uh, details. So we'll be playing, learning, and um, hopefully winning our first game on Apollo, but if we lose, that's alright as well. So we'll keep this at standard game pace. And uh, map size. Right now the default is small. We can push that up to standard, that'll be fine. Yes, we are somewhere in the Macronation, uh, the Macronation of Polystralia. We have relocated there temporarily. So, of course, to honor that, we'll go with the Polystralians here. And their ability is plus two trade routes available for the capital. I hear that trade is quite strong, so that uh, is probably a useful bonus there, and until we have a better idea of how all of the game systems play out, I won't bother going over what I think of these other faction perks. But now we need to choose our colonists. Hey Starfope, hey Kesbar. What do we want here? Do we want more science? Uh, science is good, but two per city. Um, what I'm really liking here is culture and health. Health is the new replacement for happiness, and from what I've seen from Well of Souls, there aren't really there are lots of sources that we can boost our science, lots of sources where we can boost our food production and energy, but culture is the most scarce. So artists will boost us there. I don't know exactly how powerful each of the affinities um, and uh, virtues are going to be, but I assume that their boosts are alongside the social policies, and so extra culture is definitely going to be powerful for us. Hey, Gregor Brigason, welcome to my stream. And we are going to choose our spaced craft. We can get the Continental Surveyor for revealing coastlines. I haven't picked our map yet. We'll probably go with continents, just so that we can get a mix of Pangeatic and naval play in for our first session. Retrograde Thrusters does give us more choice as to where to settle, and um, since I usually do like to move around in actual Civ, that's a, a very tempting option there. Uh, we can also reveal three of these strategic resources early, start with 100 energy, or reveal nests. We'll go with the Retrograde Thrusters here. And choosing cargo. We could start with an extra population. Um, so the growth system in Beyond Earth is the same as in Civilization, so that first or the second citizen uh, usually pops up fairly quickly, so I don't think having him ready to go right away is going to be that much of a boost. Beginning with pioneering technology, starting with the free tech, that's pretty powerful, um, but pioneering is mostly for pumping out settlers if I recall correctly, so I don't know if we'll be pumping settlers out right away. I think we're going to start with the worker, we'll probably get the most mileage out of that, but as we become more familiar with the game, we'll obviously be able to assess these choices properly. 
All right, now choosing a planet, we could go random, um, but I, what I think I want here, we don't want an Atlantean world, that's islands, um, a Terran world, the continents, so probably here, CU250D, and let's have a look at the advanced setup options. Okay, so those were the choices we made, Paul Australia, Artists, Retrograde Thrusters, and Machinery, Map Type, Terran, Lush, Apollo, Standard Speed, all of that can be default, and for the first time ever, for a live stream or a video recording, we will not be using Quick Combat or Quick Movement. I might regret that later, but um, and we probably won't do that ever again. But since the game is totally new, we haven't seen the animations before, we'll leave those on. And uh, I was so excited to start this stream that I didn't end up advertising it anywhere. So if any of you guys are regulars on Reddit and feel like sharing the stream with the masses, um, you could do me a favor and go post a link to my stream over there. But we are about to get started here. So advanced setup, all that looks fine. And to start game, our very first game. This is exciting. Is there an intro cinematic? Excerpts from Colony Archives, Personal Log, Ma Hutama. My people are looking for answers, but nothing but questions. We have much to offer, refinement of minerals and manufacturing of goods, but who will we trade with? If they be alien, will they pay us for their own resources? If they be human, will they have need for what we can create? Until I know what is out there. I don't know what to make of it. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped ah, to introduce you to Clippy. basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. I'm assuming this is going to be really annoying. Um, I did read some spoilers, so we probably don't need this guy. Let's switch that over to Experienced Player, and don't show this advice only. All right, so where are we going to settle? Can we turn icons on? Are the hotkeys still the same for that? All right, so um, this is Floatstone here, which is a resource that the Purity Affinity likes to make use of. We do have retrograde thrusters, so we can see a lot more land here. Hey, Jono Chewy, assuming everything goes smoothly, we will be posting this over to YouTube as well. And hey, Miu, we are playing Beyond Earth from the magical lands of Polystralia. 